Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So today I have a really cool tip for you uh, on how to take an Excel chart or, or some, uh, some table that you prepared in Excel and easily transform it to an image that would go into PowerPoint and it would be easy to print and uh, it wouldn't have the, the, the white background um, that you would get if you just like screenshot an image and it would um, overall make it much easier for you to later on update those images and to ensure um, an, an easier workflow between Excel and PowerPoint. To do that, we're gonna use this tool uh, that, that's been in Excel for quite a while and I didn't know about it up until recently called the camera tool, which pretty much allows you to, to aim a camera at a certain portion of your Excel file and it would generate an image and this image, while it's still in Excel, it would be dynamic. So as soon as you change something in the formulas or in the chart or whatever uh, you're, you're uh, looking at, the image will be auto updated. And then all it takes is just a copy paste into PowerPoint or anywhere else. And you'll have this image structured exactly the same way every single time. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the videos, thumbs up will be awesome. And also a sub to the channel will be amazing. Okay, let's go ahead, open Excel and dive straight in. For the purpose of this uh, demo, I have uh, a hypothetical presentation that I might do someday where I need currently the financials and the sales forecast. And what I have in Excel is my income statement and also our uh, sales breakdown, that's the forecast for next year. So as the income statement is usually quite long, what I prefer to do is uh, prepare a short summary. What I used to do before was um, there are a few ways to move that to PowerPoint. So one is just to go ahead and copy paste it and it's a horrific table. What we can do is you can keep the source formatting and move it like that, but then the numbers almost never align well. Yeah, and uh, you need to find like empty trading spaces, delete those and it's, it's a hustle and you have to do it every time you repaste. And uh, another thing that we can do is just paste as image. Pasting as image works, but you can never really control the size. So let's say if you want this to be the same size always, it would be much harder. And um, if you have different tables on different uh, pages of your presentation, you have to go in here to the page format and make sure that the width or the height, depending on how they align to each other, are the same which is a bit of a hassle for me. That's why what I want to do is I want to use this new tool. Well, it's, it's not new, but uh, it's new for me and for pretty much everyone that I asked if they heard about it, it's the camera tool. And in order to get it, you have to, let's say, customize the quick access toolbar. And this tool is in commands, not in the ribbon, the camera tool. The way it works is pretty much exactly like a camera. So I just select my, let's call it a viewfinder, click the camera button, and then just place that anywhere I want. And uh, by default, it has a background and also the borders to the side. But um, let's remove the border. Yeah, and let's remove the fill as well. It's quite similar to adding uh, as a picture, but the good thing is that now that we move this over to this side, what we can do is and pretty much figure out how big we want it to be. And we can increase that within here, within our Excel file. And obviously here I'm gonna need some more room, but if we increase that within our Excel file, it's still linked to this table here. So as soon as something changes, let's say we figure out that this needs to be increased by 500,000, you can see that it's automatically reflected here in the image. And now we can just copy paste it and it's in the appropriate size. 
and it's ready to go. So the camera tool is really awesome for, for tables, but it's even better when you wanna work with charts. So let's go ahead and add a chart for our sales forecast. Okay, let's go to the side here, and uh, what I have here is I grabbed my uh, sales breakdown from the forecast, and I created a pivot table. Then I went ahead and just renamed the months. So those were one, two, three, four, five. From here, I just renamed them, and I added a pivot chart here on the on the bottom. You can see that uh, my chart is already uh, edited, so I have uh, like the appropriate colors, I've removed the background, and I have some additional data here, which is in the cells, it's not part of the chart, and I also have this header here. So I want this whole thing to be my chart. One thing to do again is open the Snip and Sketch tool, create a screenshot, and this is what I used to do before. And then place this screenshot here, but then it's white background. So if you move over something, there's an issue. Also keep in mind, it, it's pretty easy to copy the whole chart and it usually works quite well. What I don't like is that uh, it changes the colors, but at least it's transparent. It won't mess up with your graphics if it has to like come on top of something. But the thing is that you have to go in and change the colors now, and if you repaste it, this will happen again. And uh, the other problem for me personally is that sometimes when I export to PDF, if my charts are more complex, it pretty much always something messes up during the, the print. So I prefer to keep them as images. You can copy that and paste it as image, but then you end up with the same issue of resizing it every time. That's why I would prefer to, again, use the camera tool, just select my viewfinder and place it over here. Let's format, make sure that there's no fill and no line and we're ready to go. And the best part is again that this changes automatically as soon as we change something here. Then we can just copy paste it over here and it's in the right format. I actually don't like the fact that I have those buttons because it's a, it's a pivot chart. So let's just go ahead and remove those. Just right click, hide all field buttons on chart and our image down here updated automatically. Let's say we want to go in here and uh, just add something really expensive in September. Let's say I want the quantity to be, I don't know, 750 and let's copy this this here so it's it's something that costs little to make and really expensive so we we should see a boost in in terms of margins and in terms of sales okay all we need to do now is come here refresh our pivot table and you can see this outlined here and our image is automatically ready to go so all i need to do delete that replace that and just align it and that's it that was a cool tip for Excel on, on how to pretty much speed up your workflow and uh, make sure that your graphics and uh, your, your Excel generated objects, whatever those may be, always look the same when you transfer them to PowerPoint or Word or anything else. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.